we're back with another exciting episode of The Dex. PYP. <laughs> Okay. So it's not even remotely what they do in the decks. What is the decks? Oh, is it another YouTube channel? Yeah. Have I just like completely copyrighted? Yeah, them? yeah. I thought <laughs> I don't know. In my head I imagine the kind of like like a what's that show Borderline? Or Yeah, yeah, the uh, custom like some late night like serious <laughs> political talk show uh, about Pokemon. I'm, I'm sorry again. to the people of the decks. <laughs> if if we have offended you, please like, comment and subscribe. I think we're starting again. Uh, yeah. Pick your Pokemon! Michael! Harry, Ben, Mitch. Hi, and welcome back to PYP's Nuzlocke Challenge. I'm Ben. Harry. Michael. Mitchell. And uh, this is our third session in uh, Pokemon at only level nine. Trapped on that ledge. <laughs> yes, it is it's a ledge. A ledge. <laughs> <laughs> is it a ledge? Oh, oh. So here comes our rival. Pickleman. Um, I think, is there an item in that little... Bit of random ledge with no grass and I, probably there's probably a so. secret item there that you need I'll the go. non-existent dousing machine for. You don't need How it. did you find out secret items back in the day? You just press A. Yeah, okay. Just oh, oh I just remember there's a there's a tree um, in like the northwest of Viridian Forest and there's an item. <laughs> yeah, there. go right. Billy. Quick attack. Go Billy. Yeah, like, Billy. Oh, he's under level. We have done some uh, grinding. Yeah, we've gra- yeah, yeah. grounded much in between episodes. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez, don't die, Billy. Oh gosh, Billy, hang in there. Get that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes! Yes! yes. As long as it doesn't crit, we're okay. I like that we were saved by the AI Ooh. being dumb. That is okay. pretty much how right, this do game it. Hit it. Works. Do yeah, it. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, Pidgey's gone. Pidgey's gone. All right, one down. One down. Do you want me to uh, switch out for Charmander or not? Why hit is his Pidgey once. higher level than his Charmander? Hit him once. <laughs> yeah, it's because he's Charmander <laughs> lost to us. <laughs> the Charmander's not going to win, really. All right, now stop it. 10. What was on before? It was on like 15. 15. It, uh, numbers aren't consistent in Pokemon. you got to remember, it's <laughs> high and low rolls. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Sure. But is it, it also still, doubles, it still so you'll have a constant damage. Huh? You, you do, you have a constant damage for what an attack takes down. You do now, did you then? No, you don't now. Are you sure? Yeah. No, it, it, I play competitive Pokemon, true, there's true, high true, and low true. rolls for moves. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a, you know, it takes into account the attack damage, and then the type, if it's the same type, and then any bonuses, and then high yes, and low we rolling. Did, we did Just it, we beat Pickle Man. Smashed Pickle So you Man. can't exactly mathematically pinpoint okay. yeah, how exactly. much they do. I, I think in these low me. levels you can, though. Oh, maybe. So tough treats. Yeah. It'd be fairly consistent with this low. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Goodbye, I hate Pickle this Man. little bit. Oh, he walks he away takes so up. long to walk away. I like that he's... I, I still imagine him is like really working, walking really flamboyantly, <laughs> so he's flipping his hair, like, so randomly. He's Nothing got his own little theme music playing. Oh. No item. I would like to see someone close I wish I wish Pickleman had um, all his babes like he did in the anime. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he have babes? And a car! And a car! He's... He's the only person. And ten badges in Kanto. Holy crap! Yes. You're right! This is the one scene where he shows off his badges when they're in, um. I think they're in Viridian. Yeah. Because he's going to go get his Earth badge. And oh. <laughs> Gary has ten! <laughs> Pokemon has the deepest <laughs> lore. No, but didn't, didn't he lose to Gavinny? Because of the Mewtwo hacks. Yeah. yeah. And then, so he missed out on getting his 11th. And then he bought extra badges to get to the Elite No, nah, I think that was another character. Yeah. So, but there is a black market badge yeah, market, yeah. and you can buy your way to the Elite Four. I remember there was the episode back. with the Marowak. Go the guy was like, I'm, are you going to bet all your this gym badges on this battle? Oh, uh, yeah. That was actually a cool episode, because I was like, oh, uh, potion... Marowak's cool. Just quietly, that is the most pointless cut tree in the game. That is an apple core. <laughs> Don't you have to cut that tree to activate really missing no? <laughs> Are we gonna do that? Do you have to, no. You, no. Have to, you have to click every wall uh, three times um, in the first ten seconds of entering the power plant. And uh, if you turn around enough, you can get into the secret area. And get Lugia. Uh, you, 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 <laughs> and, and then, I then, actually remember how to... Um, Activate missing though. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. That was actually one of my first experiences with Pokemon. 
was someone accurate. showing me the game and they're like hey you want to see something cool <laughs> I'm going to mess up my game want to see the ghost in the machine <laughs> and it was bizarre because like, I had no context of what I was seeing it's yeah, not that until would be years weird to see later when I was like oh I understand it's not actually part of the game because <laughs> my first you had so little context it wouldn't have even been interesting <laughs> Yeah, well, I, oh. the show was out, at least. Yeah, so I okay. knew the show. Yeah, I like, really wish wow, they did a Pokemon something. movie where the emphasis was missing. No. <laughs> I really wish they canonized it somehow. That would be actually amazing. Like, you know, Have know. you seen the missing no in, like, third gen? No. Can you still activate it in? It's similar thing. Okay. It's got different name, technically. Yeah. But it just comes up as a giant sprite question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least had a face this time, wasn't it? Some distorted flowers. Yeah. Is it bad that when I was a kid I actually got lost in here? Yeah, it was nah. really big and creepy when we were It's young. fine. I remember the it's, feeling of- It ain't no Lost Woods though. No. No. Oh. Army Kakuna. <laughs> Not in the army. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a very ineffective army. <laughs> Should I, um... <laughs> Should, defense. Should I get Kamenor out and do Kakuna vs Kakuna? Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Kill me. What's up with this hardened animation as well? Oh, square. square. <laughs> Do you guys not hide it when you're a square? No. I'm not even going to go into that. Squares are just the the structurally the yeah, the strongest shape. Square. Yeah, it's true. No, it's Actually, not. No, triangles. triangles. Yeah, and the square has two triangles. <laughs> but that doesn't make square the structurally structurally the strongest. Harry, Harry join us on the screen. I want to have a square. And I want you to show that there's two triangles in a square. That no one is okay. doubting you on that. I just there are some skeptics. Oh look, it's true. It's but true. What's your point? <laughs> what's your point? The the putting things, squares in our triangle. The, the triangles things in that our you are saying. Damn Illuminati! <laughs> <laughs> the things that you are saying are correct. The conclusions you are drawing from those are not. What? <laughs> that squares are the structurally the strongest. No, well, let's just um, Ratatata yes. revolve. Oh, like twenty. And the, the letter of the day is B. What's the, the point? The yeah. Number is three. Uh, cool. Yeah, but like level twenty? Come on. That's pretty high. Well, where is the forest? Yeah, the forest is deforestation. Kind of yeah, this is heavy. Like, oh. where's Captain? Pokemon Planet? has always Captain had, a, Planet. had a strong environmental uh, message. message. That's why you battle. Animals. That's why new yeah. Pokemon life forms evolve from human garbage. <laughs> Literally yeah, human garbage. Uh, is this the Shorts kid? Hey, no. wait up! Uh, where's the Shorts kid? He is above the rule. Yeah. Isn't he? No, he's no, a, he's no, on the before Mount Moon, Moon is yeah. on the way Mount Moon. Uh. And it's a youngster. It's one. weird to me that Clefairy's actually yeah. a space alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? what? Which Pokemon are aliens? Deoxys? Deoxys? Clefairy? Clefairy? Wait, Pokerus? No. Poker Pokerus is not a Pokemon. <laughs> Deoxys, Clefairy. Um, is there a UFO one? Is Rayquaza are... now from space? Because it always hangs out in space. I don't know if it's from near space. <laughs> I, I, if I had to pick a theory to go with, I would say all Pokemon originated from space in some form, and then either adapted to the environment or were created from. Well, you know, yeah. there is an actual Pokemon law that you are ignoring. Oh, that Arceus created stuff. I mean, it's from a time space. The the so. fact that they're a human created Pokemon. That's the thing that messes with me. Yeah. Like, not even not even your Grimers and your Trubbishes and stuff. Like, Porygon. deliberately set out to yeah. make a Pokemon. How do you do that? Well, well the, the theory is Pokerus is the virus. And that gets into things. And, and that can create Pokemon life form. Oh, I don't hate that. And if you can digitize Pokemon to a computer, then you can explain things like Porygon being yeah. created in a computer. True. Can I just learn Vine or not? Uh, I, I was not that. paying attention. <laughs> nah. You're the one playing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Who's you, driving this bus? <laughs> you, didn't, you, you didn't learn Vine Whip, but you learned Vine, and so for three seconds you can record a silly face. <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse. Oh, this is a new route, or yep. is this a continuation of the other route? No, this is the end of. You can check on your No, map, this is but... a new route, I think. I'm check not safe map. to say. Oh, no, it's just this area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a continuation of the um, ah! Viridian. Or does it count as pewter? Route two. I just wrapped oh, yeah, two. Yeah, route two. Okay. Yeah, it's still part of route two. Damn it! I wanted to actually. Be... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Big let's cave, however. All right, let's go to Pewter City. We did it. Color change, everyone. Pewter. See, it's all like pewterish. Pewterish. Pewter. Oh right, it's a Clefairy. Oh, it's a Jiggle Boss. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> now, Clefairy was originally going to be the main character. Yes. In Whoops. what version of Pokemon? The anime. The anime. The anime. Yeah. 
It was going to be Clefairy and, instead of Pikachu. And she's going to be able to talk. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. I, I reckon that would have been a better show. <laughs> Pikachu it was perfect he for was. the mascot because he's... Like someone's explained it, um, he's cute enough for the girls to really like him, and he's cool enough for the guys to like him. Yeah. You can see that in cosplay really Pikachu in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, <laughs> where you can be wrestling Chew. Yeah. <laughs> Family Chew. Um, but what's interesting about Pikachu is, is in grade two, I knew nothing about Pokemon. Uh, sorry, end of grade one. Nothing yeah, about Pokemon. Right. Uh, one of my friends gave me this like Nintendo magazine with all these Pokemon. I think it was the whole decks in it. And I took it to my friends. We went to McDonald's for like a end, no of, money. end of grade one breakup party. And we all looked at this and we all decided to play Pokemon and we all chose Pikachu like instinctively. Wow. Like there's something about the design that triggers just... neurons to be attracted to it. He's just I... really well designed with a monster. I miss Chubby Pikachu. Yeah, I uh, much prefer Chubby Pikachu. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Chubby Pikachu is really so like Chubby Pikachu. I, I like him as well, but I understand why he's like yeah. this now. Well, now he... It's not... <laughs> He lost weight. Yeah, like it's, you, it's, go, you it's got, you got to appreciate. Unrealistic standard. Well, now he has to be able to do uppercuts. <laughs> well, it took like game. ten years to lose. Actually, no, it took like ten episodes. Yeah. Because, because have you seen his Pokemon Fighter model? He's like got much but more he's arms too and stuff. Brutal in yeah, Pokemon yeah, yeah. Fighter. He what the hell? Uppercuts and stuff. He's just like full and smacking Pokemon. <laughs> and in the I like face. That, that that pose he does where he crosses his arms. Yeah, he's he's like, like, yeah. Like, like, like what? What country is this where Pokemon have learnt to actually, like, UFC fight? <laughs> <laughs> so, I need to learn Vine Whip, and then we can take on rocks. Yep, yep. take on rocks. Yeah. <laughs> we can get our rocks off. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <gasps> so, we're a little downtime because we don't have anything to catch. What is everyone's favourite Pokemon? Eevee. Why? None of its evolutions, just Eevee. Yeah! Because <laughs> in gold and silver, I raised my Eevee to, like, level 50. I was, like, halfway through the game. I just grinded Eevee until it was, like, level 50, and I'm like, not even at the Elite Four. And it was just... it Because it got Bite, which... And Dark was pretty strong. Yeah, that was the generation we introduced Dark. Yeah. Dark was pretty strong. Like, you know, it just... It was really good. Gus being normal is messing me up, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Gust looks in this animation looks like a tornado of hair. Anyway, Ben. Like chest hair just coming at what's you. Your, what's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, Mudkip. Uh, it has always been Mudkip from the moment I laid eyes on Mudkip, and I will die always liking Mudkip as my favorite Pokemon. I'm really glad we've lived through the era where it was embarrassing to say Mudkip was your favorite because of that weird meme about that kid banging the Mudkip toy at the high school. Oh, yeah. But. <laughs> That was a thing. <laughs> Mudkip is my favourite, and he's, he's highlighted now by the fact that he evolves into Mega Swampert with super buff arms. I think it's one of the greatest designs of all time. <laughs> Michael? It's a really, really tough decision, because... It's like, Mickey, you'd have to choose between 150 of your favourite children and 600 of them are ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's exactly how I feel. I've got a really big soft spot for Marowak. Mm. Why? Because but, of the mother? Are you sad? Yes. No, I just think he's cool. He's very good so, yeah, it's, I really like Marowak. He's I'll really up there for one of my favorites. But I just I just go through the routes and I look at Pokemon I, I keep forgetting about. And I just fall in love all over again. <laughs> yeah. I, I do that with first gen. There's a handful of that I do that for second gen. Yeah. No, first gen just second, second gen. I think is one of the most overrated. Like a lot of my favorites, but a lot like there's the good ones and then there's the. Giraffe? What the hell is that? You don't like giraffe, giraffe backwards. Yeah, I... <laughs> Zatu? No, no. Zatu is one of my brother's favorite Pokemon. Like, there's just weird ones that I'm like, I don't see anyone having that as their favorite Pokemon. My brother's Pokemon. favorite is but, okay. Zatu. Like Smeagol. Smeagol? <laughs> yeah, but then it's got amazing things like him on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's got great things, but it's I think and everything that wasn't guess. great was like really average. That's yeah. the same with every generation. No, Kandra was mostly not great. Gen one. Yeah. Harry, what's your favorite? Umbreon. Oh, yeah, we know this because that is his competitive first one that decimates us. Okay, no, uh, hang on, hang on. It's not because of that. No, I know it's not because of that, but that's why we know it's your favorite. That's why you made it a competitive Pokemon, because yeah. it's your favorite. Yeah, and it's actually not a very high tier Pokemon at all. Everyone scoffs at it. In Scoff. Terms of... <laughs> Umbreon. Oh, 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 That's so fourth generation. <laughs> Competitively. I don't think it was even good in fourth generation. I still used it. Um, it's actually a long story why I like Umbreon. 
Because I, I started with Crystal, yeah? Hmm. And I was like... I, I, I when I was so like, oh, oh, I get to choose out of all these Pokemon. I got 50 more than, a uh, hundred more than we did in 150. So I looked mm. at all the new ones and Ombreon stuck out for me for whatever reason. But I could not work out how to get it. Yeah. Because uh, it was really yes. hard because it wasn't yes. really explained very well. And it was a one. high amount of happiness you needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Feature yeah. one bit of roots until it's ultimate depression. And then... Evolve it at night. No. <laughs> that is the exact opposite that's, of what you need. That's how you get ghost Eevee. <laughs> Suicidal Eevee. Oh, oh god. god. Um, <laughs> but I could not work out how to get it, and it kind of dropped off my radar. And Typhlosion was my favorite because yeah. he was my starter for that. Yeah. But then Colosseum came around, and I was like, I have an Umbreon now. Yeah. I have one. <laughs> yeah. And then it's been my favorite since Colosseum. That's really funny because whenever I play Colosseum. You start with the e the Espeon and the Umbreon. I would always put Umbreon back in the box. You Me too. Because it's ugly. It's... Sorry. No, ugly. It's your favorite. It's not. It's just, it's just it's got weird sticky nubby bits that I don't understand. Really that's ears. <laughs> <laughs> they look soft and fun to touch. Yeah. No, I think that's about Espeon. Also, one of my first um, Pokemon training cards was an Umbreon, oh. a shiny Umbreon. I do recall well, that. Not having shiny good Umbreon, no, but a holographic oh, yeah. Umbreon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's the art on it's beautiful. It's actually on my wall at the moment. Oh, oh really? really? That's what I said. I'm actually yeah. dead. Able. And I got a Umbreon plushie. What is everybody's least favorite for? Oh, Trubbish. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy answer. I know. You know I know. I'm not gonna. Amoongus. What is even? Oh yeah, I hate that. Thing. I don't know that one. It's the mushroom Pokemon from fifth gen. It was oh. the second Voltorb. The reason I hate it oh. is more of a mechanical reason because. For one, in competitive, it is balls annoying because it has spore and rage powder, which is annoying in VGC. But in I because I was catching everything in white two, yeah, and I came across this. Every time you do a physical attack to it, it gives you a random stat. Well, not every time you attack it, a but random, a random status, a effect. Random status right. effect, like thirty percent of the time. Holy crap! The most annoying thing to verse, and then it has like healing moves as well, and I was like, oh, no, no, I was just like, forever, no, Amoongus, and it's ugly as sin. I, I played, um, Ben and I had a Pokemon battle in Omega and Alpha yesterday. That's funny. You've got some cake Pokemon. <laughs> you hate that. That's my new least favorite. You hate Slurper. I do not care for Slurper. 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 No. It starts off as no. cotton candy and then oh, evolves into oh, a fly. God no! <laughs> Why really? Why do you hate Slurper? Oh, I hate that. Not, and you I know hate the, the only ice reason cream one. I don't the ice cream hate one. The Slurper. ice cream one is awful. The no, reason I, I don't like the design of the ice cream one, I hate that it's just ice colored. It's really boringly colored. I hate that the the well. Okay, I don't hate Slurper as much because its counterpart is even uglier. The, the aroma tea. Yeah, yeah, aroma yeah, tea. And it's got the ugly. weird leg coming out. I just assume Slurp. it's some like old gypsy lady that I'm never going to understand. <laughs> also, I'll always be disappointed because fans drew its evolution as a witch doctor with yeah. the plague masks. <laughs> that would be cool. pretty cool. That's not a witch doctor. That's, that's, cool. that's No, yeah, that's, I, mean, I meant that's, a plague that's doctor. A regular doctor. doctor. <laughs> it's a plague doctor. Um, But. I was like, that's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah. And it turned out to be this... Just some weird gypsy lady with way too much thing. perfume. Like, <laughs> you know the kind you see them at the back of nursing homes when you go visit your actual grandma? And, uh, um, <laughs> what are you what? talking about? Oh, uh, no, the worst part of that is he's right. Yeah, you know, there's these ladies, they're like from Middle Europe, and like, they've lived out these whole full lives with like heaps of dancing and in Paris and now they're just rotting in aging homes with weight like in this swamp of perfume uh, their own climate um probably I wish when you said these things you weren't I have <laughs> I have I've served those types of people yeah at and you're like is that that is that their hair or is that a wig you don't yeah. know <laughs> yeah. is that their moustache or is that a wig you yeah, don't know I just don't know this um, is terrible. Sorry to any uh, old uh, European centric yeah, ladies. Don't you know that's our, our main fan That's our main fan base. Main that is our main Sorry, if we've offended you, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, POP game do, commentary. Do not put a curse on us. Do not, <laughs> not hex us. If, if we wake up tomorrow with tiny hands. If we wake uh, up tomorrow and it's Oh god, today. it's happening. Or we've swapped bodies with a fat chick, then please. <laughs> do, 
<laughs> Wait, that's not the plot of that movie. What no. movie were we going for then? Uh, Jack Black can only see thin chicks. <laughs> that's not Jack Black, I don't think. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Shout out hell. Holy crap, it's yeah, Jack, Jack Black! Black. It's just because he ain't, ain't got a beard. Wow. Well. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Blown your mind with Jack Black. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gone. I thought Bob <laughs> saw got Vine Whip at level 12. He does not. Oh. <laughs> Next time you join us, Bulbasaur will have Vine Whip. <laughs> this has been a 90% grind episode only, of Pick only Your Plan Only if Nuzlocke. you've mixed up level 12 with level 22. Oh yeah, must be. If so... When the hell do you get Vine Whip? It's 22. It might be 15. <laughs> That's way too overleveled. <laughs> I whip my vine back and forth. I whip my vine back and forth. I whip my vine back and forth.